Hey everybody! After a long hiatus in posting videos, I'm finally back and I've got a new video camera, I've got a new nice lapel microphone, um, I've got a whole new series of videos planned, and uh, we're ready to do some chemistry again. So this video is basically the introduction to this series. So this series is going to be called Elemental Extractions, and it's going to focus on using chemistry to obtain pure elements for an element collection. So obviously that's going to cater to element collectors, uh, but it'll also, I hope, be interesting for other people and amateur scientists that would like to do chemistry with various elements from the periodic table. Of course, I probably won't do every element on the periodic table for several reasons. Um, one, because there are several elements that are much too dangerous to synthesize at the hobby level, uh, things like fluorine or beryllium. There may be some elements that I skip temporarily um, because I'm just still working on making that experiment doable at a hobby scale or safe at a hobby scale. Uh, so you might find a couple of gaps in my coverage of the elements and uh, some of those, you know, maybe I just haven't gotten to them yet. But I hope to come back around and be able to do as many as possible. And then of course there's things like the noble gases which can't really be extracted from compounds because they don't really exist as compounds. Uh, there's a few circumstances where they can make compounds, especially out of xenon I've heard of, but that's in very, very specialized labs, which I obviously don't have access to. You know, for an element collection, I want to make things as interesting as possible. There's websites online where you can go and buy all these elements if you want to and then hang them up on your wall. And that in itself is pretty satisfying, I'll, I'll admit. Um, but I wanted to have a story behind as many elements as I possibly could. So it's very cool to me to be able to pick one up and say, look, I made this from a compound. I was able to arrest a pure element from nature's grasp of turning it into a compound. So I did want to use this video to ask one question to you guys, and that's what do you think the content of this series should be? My initial name, Elemental Extractions, refers to the fact that I want to extract elements from compounds using chemistry. Um, now, of course, there's several elements that that's not going to work for. Things like the noble gases I mentioned earlier. Um, so, I mean, I can make a video about those. It won't be terribly interesting because there's no real chemistry going on. But, I mean, I could go over the sources for each of these in case um, element collectors are looking for them, like where I got my helium, my neon, and argon, and so on. Um, so that might be mildly interesting to some. And then there's other elements like zinc which is very easily available over the counter, but its reactivity means it's very, very difficult to synthesize at home. Uh, so again, that won't have much chemistry in it, but I could do things related to zinc, uh, say where my source was and maybe do a bit, some videos of me melting it or something to that effect. And then there's uh, other cases like uh, lithium up here. I extracted this from a battery and that's not really an extraction per se, because I didn't do any chemistry to get it, but I did crack open a battery and I could show that process, I suppose. So before this series really gets rolling, uh, I want to hear from you. Uh, what do you think I should have as part of this series? Should I stick to extractions and chemistry? Or should I include smaller videos that maybe are less interesting, but talk about where I got these elements? Uh, so let me know in the comments. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoy this upcoming series of Elemental Extractions. I look forward to reading your comments about uh, where you think this series should go.